someone, don't tell them they look great and then ask if they've lost weight. Saying you look great is enough, full stop. Their weight is none of your business and most likely will turn the conversation into a virtual Weight Watchers points competition worse than any fantasy football league. Soon to follow will be people one-upping each other with foodie Instagrams that look like someone up-chucked on a plate. Snore. If we wanted eating to be a competitive sport, we'd elbow some blue hairs out of the way at an early bird TGI Friday's buffet. <laughs> New rule. When I'm with my super hot husband, don't look me up and down and ask, hey, how'd you get him? In fact, don't do that to any big girl who has a super hot husband because the answer always is, because I'm hot as fuck. And actually, he got me. Then go take a seat in your single as fuck corner that you crawled out of. <laughs> And finally, new rule, sometimes satirists have no idea that the point they're making is completely ironic. Sometimes they are totally culpable of the very thing they literally accuse others of with great disdain. Two episodes ago on Real Time, Bill Maher made the case that both extremes, the far left and the far right, makes things worse by agreeing on certain issues. One of those issues he called the bipartisan pro-fat movement and threw around stats about obesity being a huge chunk of our healthcare bill. Now, we're not gonna spend this time explaining to Bill how fat people don't go to the doctor as often because of fat shaming. And even when they do, most doctors don't take their actual symptoms into consideration. They just take one look and say, lose weight and shove them out the door. Or about how even the Department of Health's BMI scale, which regulates what obesity is, has been debunked by studies over over and over again as an antiquated system. No, we'd like to talk about the bipartisan company Bill keeps with the garbage he spews about fat people. He's probably not gonna like it. Try the founder of the neo-Nazi site, The Daily Stormer, Andrew England. He likes to fat shame too. He thinks the healthcare system is being tanked by fat people, especially women. He was the one who fat shamed Heather Heyer, the victim of the terrorist attacks in Charlottesville celebrating her murder because she was a drain on society. Sound familiar, Bill? Oh, Andrew thinks he was being hilarious too. When pressed further by the Washington Post about his original cruel and base post, he twice referred to his blog as a joke and suggested that Heyer may have suffered a heart attack at the scene. See? A pair of fucking comedians you two are! <laughs> but unlike England, whose remarks were considered so terrible that his website was on a day-to-day -day cat and mouse chase with servers who felt like his comments were so deplorable, so despicable, that no one wants to give him a platform for so much hate? You? You get to keep talking on TV about how no one thinks mad jokes are funny anymore! Oh, <laughs> ah! Fucking liberal softies! <laughs> Bill, if you can't see how you are flirting with bipartisanship with the most amoral base in this country over making Chris Christie fat jokes, then maybe you shouldn't get to make jokes at all anymore. What good is a satirist who can't see he's a wolf blowing his own house a hay down? We'll be the pigs on the sidelines laughing as the roof caves in on your ass. Good night! <laughs>